What's up guys, Mitch here, and today I'm taking a look at the Macro Business Backpack, which can be picked up on Amazon right now for around 25 bucks. If you're looking for a smaller backpack that can hold a bunch of tech on the cheap, this could be the one to buy. Most tech backpacks nowadays usually try to add extra features and gimmicks that most people will never use. This minimizes the usefulness of the bag while adding costs and more points of failure, all while usually not looking very good. This backpack's different though. It has a very modern look in the gray that I have here, but it also comes in black, coffee brown, and a blue that also looks super clean. Unintentionally, it also matches the color of the skin that I'm currently using on my MacBook Pro, which really doesn't matter at all. Back to the backpack though. It claims to be waterproof, and the times that I've used it walking through the rain for short periods, no water got through, so there could be some validity to the claim. But I don't know if I would trust it outside for too long or in a heavy rain if I had a laptop and papers in the bag. The bag includes a combo lock to hold the zippers together, but I broke it just trying to put it onto the bag, so I wouldn't really trust it to keep anything in the bag super secure. The zippers do seem pretty durable so far, I open and close the bag a lot of times throughout the day, and they still stay closed without peeling open as with some other cheap zippers. They don't stick or get caught on things, and even with the bag stuffed, the zippers hold up really well, which inspires confidence if you're loading up the bag with a lot of tech and other bulky items. Onto that though, this thing holds a ton of stuff and still manages to not look huge. This is the bag that I'm using for my tech bag, which you can check out here if you want to see what I carry daily, but the bag can easily accommodate a lot more. Fully loading it, I'm able to fit a 15 inch laptop, a gridded organizer, a folder full of school papers, an iPad, a small tripod, a GoPro with a bunch of accessories and extra batteries, along with a boom pole, as well as all the stuff that I talked about in my tech bag video. Basically, unless you're carrying around excessive amounts of things that aren't really needed, this bag should be able to hold anything that you could possibly need. I know there are people that actually need a lot of room in a backpack, but I'm able to carry everything that I need and more, and most people should be able to as well. Even fully loaded though, the backpack really isn't that big while wearing it. It's heavy for sure, but the padding around the shoulder pads isn't that bad, and should be pretty comfortable for a full day of use. The material on the back of the bag is also something that will not snag on your clothes. I've had shirts and sweatshirts torn up in the back because of the padding that some other bags use. Not an issue with this. The laptop compartment has padding in the back and in between the main pocket, but not as much as I would like on the bottom of the bag, which could be an issue when setting the bag down hard. This can either be fixed with being careful with how you set down the bag, or if you don't want to risk it at all, you can get a sleeve for your laptop. Now down right below that like button, I'll link some of my favorites. There's USB port pass through that can be used for charging. When connecting the inside cable to a battery bank, you're able to charge your device off the side of the backpack. This is great while needing to charge when walking, but still want access to the device that you're charging. Really I didn't think it would be used that much, but it does work well. Overall though, this is a backpack that can hold a ton of stuff without looking huge while wearing it, which is nice for moving around in smaller places and just to avoid bumping into stuff. If you're someone who wants to carry their tech around in a small, good looking bag on a budget, this is the one to buy. You're not giving up much in quality of the bag for the price, and I give it a full thumbs up. Now that's all for this video guys, make sure to like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to see more videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.